guys this is the start of a new vlog and also a new day today is thursday it's the last day at mayo clinic as far as we know for testing and so this morning i have a ct scan to look at my heart because they noticed i could have like a bicuspid aortic valve so that will look at my heart's function and everything like that and then i will have a autonomic reflex screening or reflex test or something and I'll let you guys know what that is. It's just checking for all types of dysautonomia, which is very common with hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos. And I have some heart issues that they've noticed. So um, after that, I see the psychiatrist who's like a fibromyalgia specialist. And then I'll also see, or I'll also have to get a little bit of blood work and a urine test as well. And then I think we're done. So we'll be done around three today and We'll see what all we do after. We may go somewhere after my CT scan. Um, I can't have caffeine this morning and I also can't have like a big meal or anything. So we just ate the hotel breakfast and they had a cinnamon roll waffle mix and it was really good. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you guys know what we do today. I don't necessarily know that it will be fun stuff, but we have a lot of medical stuff going on. <laughs> just wanted to update you because I just got done with my CT scan and it was the weirdest thing I've ever had in my life it felt like my body was burning from the inside out but not it wasn't like painful it was so weird if you ever get a CT scan you will understand or you'll understand if you've had one but that it was of my heart and all of the coronary arteries I think is what they said and all of the valves and everything I had to get medication to slow down my heart rate because it's way too fast and I had to get medication to open up my heart valves and stuff nitroglyceride the contrast which the contrast is so weird like just if you ever get a CT scan just be prepared for a very warm sensation but like you pee your pants but it's from head to toe and it is crazy and then um, now we have the autonomic reflex reflex screening, which I hope none of what they did this morning affected that because it was scheduled after the autonomic reflex screening was. But we'll have to see. And if it does, then God's will. And yeah, so it's a busy day. We thought we were going to be able to go get pastries, but I ended up having to wait an hour because my heart rate was way too fast which they knew it would be, but they didn't schedule, or they didn't um, prescribe me the one pill, which they should have, and they even asked me about it yesterday. But they want your heart rate to get down to 65 before a CT scan, and mine is always in the hundreds, or almost always in the hundreds. So we knew that wasn't gonna happen. I ended up having to take some kind of beta blocker and then get the medications during the CT scan, and you go into like this round loop it's like half of an mri machine is what i would compare it to and there's like flashing colored lights and then a little rotating thing that you see like going and it makes the motor sound like starting up like it sounds like you're about to fly or take off or something and then you just feel a really warm sensation eventually so yeah super fun <laughs>
on the way home and we got Starbucks again. Still the Irish cream cold brew with the peppermint in it. And then also I got some sprinkles today and mom got the toasted white mocha again. And then we got our reindeer cake pops, but we are on our way back and we are leaving about 7.30. So hopefully we'll be there a lot sooner today, but I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so it's been about a week since I've been home from Mayo Clinic and I just wanted to update you guys. They did not find anything on the autonomic reflex screening. I almost passed out and my blood pressure dropped like super low and so did my heart rate. But they don't think it's autonomic related, which means it's not neurologically related. And so I'm going to have to start a new path to figure out the heart thing and they think I should just probably get a workup with a cardiologist, which means I'll probably just have to wear a heart monitor for a few days and just see if it's anything with my heart. But yeah, so that came back normal. And then also it did end up having the bicuspid aortic valve, which means it's like hereditary and it's um, congenital heart thing so you're born with it it really doesn't seem to be causing me any issues right now which the ct scan showed and the echocardiogram showed but now my family will just have to get screened for it and then i think you get an echocardiogram like every year or every other year so every two years that's what they said i should do is just have it every two years unless they start to see issues pretty much what that means you can look it up if you want to know more details about it but your aortic valve is like a circle and it kind of has like a peace sign in it kind of but like all sides are equal so it's like cut into thirds and whenever you have bicuspid aortic valve since it's not tricuspid then there's only two of those little three things like two Barnabas, did you want to say hi yeah you just needed pettings for a second okay he just wants pets it just has two like one of the sides has been fused together so you only have two little leaflets which can which can cause degeneration in that valve so it's very important to get your dental cleanings because apparently whatever infections are in your mouth go straight to your heart and then also it's important to just get those echocardiograms just in case it does start to rapidly degenerate which my grandmother actually ended up needing a heart valve replacement and then ended up needing a pacemaker quite recently actually. So she is probably who had bicuspid aortic valve. Actually, I think she is the one who had that. Anywho, that's pretty much the life update. I'm still doing physical therapy and I started doing internal pelvic floor therapy which I think is helping, um, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. And then the holidays are super busy for Jacob and I because we have so many families. So I'm trying to conserve a lot of energy for that, but I will definitely try to film some videos. Feel free to leave any prayer request or video recommendations in the comments. And um, I just want you guys to know that you are not alone. I love you and I really do want to pray for you and I really would like to connect with you guys so please feel free to reach out or leave a comment or anything like that. Um, the psychiatrist visit at Mayo Clinic which I forgot about it was literally just to tell me about their pain rehabilitation program thing which honestly it was a waste of time but that's okay. I don't know it's like a three and a half week program which who can travel for three and a half weeks and just stay there but anyway so it really kind of was nothing but then I got blood work which seems to be normal and also a urine test which I don't think they were supposed to do it that close to a CT scan so it probably wasn't accurate anyway but yeah I think that might be all of the actual doctor's appointments that I have before the end of the year but I'm thankful that this year is the year of answers and I just thank you guys if you're praying for me or just anything. I thank you for being here. I thank you for your support and yeah, just please feel free to leave comments. Feel free to like the video and hopefully I'll be posting more or keep you guys updated and I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend.